So today we're going to be solving this little beauty, x times 2 to the power of x squared equals 5, and the method we're going to use uh, involves possibly having an extraneous, i.e. a false, extra solution. So we have to be a little bit careful because we're going to square and then take the square root um, in order to uh, solve this with the Lambert W function. Okay, so let's go. Now what we're going to do anyway, let's see, first of all, x squared is always positive, and obviously 2 is positive, so this must be positive, and we know that 5 is positive, so therefore we know that any solution to x must be positive. And so we can already avoid any false solutions by only taking any positive value of x. Okay, so anyway, so now let's actually solve this uh, equation. Well, 2 to the power of x squared equals e to the power of x squared log 2, and therefore we can rewrite the equation as x times e to the x squared log 2 equals 5. And we need to get it, remember, into the form z e to the z equals c. Now, if this doesn't mean much to you, please go and watch the video, The Simple Guide to the Lambert W Function Graph, uh, the link to which is in the description to this video. Uh, we've already done a few videos on this, but this is the form we need to get it into. Now, the problem here is we have x here and x squared here. So what we need to do is we need to square both sides. So we get x squared, uh, e to the x squared log 2 squared is basically e to the 2x squared log 2 equals, well 5 squared is 25. And now all we need to do is multiply by 2 log 2. So we have 2x squared log 2e to the 2x squared log 2 equals 50 log 2. And now if we look here, we have our equation in the form z e to the z equals c and so we can basically just read off our answer so we have that 2 log 2 x squared equals w of 50 log 2 okay so therefore we have sorry x squared equals w of 50 log 2 over 2 log 2 so when we now take the square root what we would normally do is we would say okay well x equals plus or minus w of 50 log 2 over 2 log 2 and this is where the extraneous uh, solution comes in because we have squared and then taken the square root we have introduced this negative solution which doesn't actually fit the original equation so as we've already discussed above we can get rid of that one and we can only take the positive root that's the only one we want so basically uh, my, my apologies I should put a square root under there but anyway all, all of the rest of what I just said uh, is valid. So basically we know that x is only equal to the positive square root of w 50 log 2 over 2 log 2 and we can ignore the negative solution. Okay now w of 50 log 2 by any online calculator equals 2.59278 approximately and therefore the whole thing x is approximately 1.36758 and that is the solution to this equation here. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and um, avoiding the extraneous solution because it is a very easy trap to fall into. Um, if you've enjoyed this and found it useful, please like it and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.